Hi guys, I am very well aware of the night that's in it and I have to say I think the night before, the night before my leaving cert was probably one of the hardest days that I had in the lead up to it. Um, at the moment I'm over here in Malta uh, delivering training at the moment for the weekend and um, staying in a, in a lovely spot so just in case you're wondering where the sun's coming from that's, that's it. Um, I found the night before the night before the leaving cert a difficult one because the world and its mother is wishing you best luck, best of luck, and it can be hard to listen to that because you know that they're being nice about it, um, but you kind of in some ways wish they'd stop talking about it. On the other hand, if they weren't wishing you luck, you'd be saying, why isn't anyone caring about me? Um, just spare them a thought because it's not easy to know what to say to you. Um, people want to be nice, they want to be kind, they want to be comforting, and at the same time, they know that they can't really do anything to make it better. The other thing too I remember about it is the weight is that it felt so close and yet it felt so far away because school had been over at this stage you know we'd gone through the graduation and the leaving mass and everything else and uh, and of course then there was the couple of days after the summer holidays had finished when it kind of feels weirdly unstructured because you might have thought oh wouldn't it be really lovely if I didn't have to go into school and I could do whatever I wanted but of course what you realize then that you don't have is the structure of somebody saying okay start now finish now and you don't have your teachers to ask your questions to as well and that can be tough too and then of course you can't get your stuff ready or maybe you have it ready already because of course you're not going in until the day after tomorrow so it can feel very very long and in fairness to my mum and dad I remember that you know that was the night that really <laughs> they took me to one side and tried to calm me down as best they could um the leaving cert is part and parcel of of becoming the adult that you always wanted to be um and therefore this probably is the first time in many cases not in your life but in your parents life or in your siblings life or in those who love you their lives when you can't necessarily or sorry when they can't sort it out for you you know they can't just they can't just waltz in and fix it you know particularly i, I remember a mother saying to me one time that you know when my daughter was really really young if she fell over and broke you know if she scraped her knee or whatever all i had to do was pick her up and give her a hug and it would go away Whereas now, when it comes to the leaving cert, they can't do anything except wish you well. So just bear that in mind that I know you might feel, oh, that it's all about you at the moment. And, you know, in many of your cases it is. But just spare a thought for those people around you. They're, they're doing their best. Also, what I would say is, um, is it's really important to do what you can in the last day. Don't try to pack everything in. Don't try to cram everything in. Don't stress yourself out trying to cram at this stage. Instead, go back over your notes um, bear in mind a couple of things when you go into the exam. Number one, do your most comfortable question first. I don't know how many countless exams I've gone into where I thought, oh my God, it's all, it's all, gonna, it's all gonna fall away on me. Um, I've worked so hard and studied so much in order to be um, something, or in order to come in here and then realize that I can't do it. But actually that's just momentary panic. What you need to do is just go in, read all the questions, do that first, because all of, in the back of your head, right, as you read those questions that are stored, and from there, what you can do is figure out, okay, what, right, I'll put it to you like this. It's like you're, you're Googling through your mind for the information that you have. And, uh, and just let your mind do it. So just read through the questions first, even if you're panicking. Just read through the questions first and let your mind go and do its Google thing. And then do your most comfortable question first. That's just two things. First of all, it takes away that whole, oh my God, I'm doing the leaving search kind of thing. And it just gets you into answering a question the same way you would if you were in school and you were sitting down to do a question that your teacher said, just go and do it now. So that would have happened. Um, I find that that's super. That, that, and by the way, I still do that today. Today, because exams don't go away, by the way. It really does matter. The second thing that I would say is what it does is it gives you time. It gives you time to do that Googling at the back of your head. It just gives you the time that you need in order to settle in and to go, okay? So it, it is really, really helpful for that. The third thing that I would say is, and to be prepared for this, right, is the day of the leaving cert, it feels weird because you'll go in and you'll do your English, okay? I know that English is first. Some of you I know have an exam in the afternoon, some of you don't. And then you're finished, right? So for many of you, by half 12, one o'clock, you'll be finished for the day. And, uh, and you'll know that you'll have done something hugely productive and hugely impactful. Um, but it'll be only one o'clock. And it'll be the first time in a long, long time when you haven't had to do any more than that on that particular day. And then what you have to try to do 
is get over the enormity of it all because there's a lot that goes into it the first day the first day you have the emotions of going in and seeing leaving search examination on a piece of paper for the first time and all that jazz right and then what you'll have to do is after feeling that you're after doing all of that you have to come home and then get ready for paper two the next day and maths paper one and geography on friday and so on so just a couple of things to, to bear in mind at this stage is that um the reason that i particularly wanted to record this video now is that there are some some of you at home that uh, that I've been helping out over the last while, and and I miss the fact that I can't be there with you at the moment. Um, it yes, it's a beautiful place, and yes, that's real sun up there and everything else like that. Um, I'm working hard out here and so on like that. But the other reason that I wanted to record this video from here is to say that although I'm missing many of you, um, is also is that there is life after the leaving cert. It doesn't feel like it by now. I remember thinking, well, my last exam, by the way, was on applied maths a week after all the rest of them had finished. So I think physics was my second last one and then applied maths was a week later. And I remember thinking, I just couldn't imagine life on the 26th of June, that was when it was over. Like, like what, what would happen then? Um, and I can imagine that that's how some of you feel right now as well. It'll happen. You won't believe me at the moment. So there's no point in me really trying to convince you otherwise. But um, but it does. And there's lots of your dreams that, that are there to come true. And there's a, like, oh my God, third level education of whatever it might be, whether it is post leaving our course or whether it's college, whether it's an apprenticeship or whether it's a guards or whether it's whatever it might be. There's so many great people that, that are waiting to meet you and so many great experiences to happen. But you gotta get this bit right first. So this is the bridge. This is the bridge to the rest of your life. And uh, if anybody, thanks very much for everyone who's watching and for commenting, I appreciate that a lot. But between now and then, I wish you the very best. If I can do anything for any of you, send a message there uh, in on Savvy Teen Academy and I'll respond to you as quickly as I can. So live here from Atard, which is right in the center of Malta. Best wishes, as I say, best wishes, and I'm sending a message from life after the leaving cert. Bye.